Hey everyone, in this video, we will do a walkthrough of the application we are going to deploy. This application mimics a real world application's complexity to some extent. This involves creating virtual private cloud, auto scaling groups, subnets, databases, ECS services, Cognito for authentication, and API Gateway as an entry to these services. Now, deploying the infrastructure for this application in an organization would easily take a few days, being very optimistic, if not weeks. Mainly due to operational challenges and due to plugging this in an already existing infrastructure. This delays a dev test loop a lot, as each new deployment needs to be pushed to the cloud for testing. Now, with local stack, you don't have to deploy the application on your cloud. Rather, the cloud is deployed locally on your machine. Hence, the whole infrastructure for this application would be up and ready for testing in minutes. So let's get started. So here is the final app up and running, which we are going to use for the demo in this module. The application sample implements an example API with two services, food store to put and get foods and pet store to put and get pets. But first we will have to create an account. So we will go to go to sign in and we will create an account. So it asks for confirmation code. So local stack has taken care of improving the developer experience. So I'm going to find this OTP in our logs. So as you can see, I can see this OTP. So instead of waiting for the OTP in the email, which we would have to do if you were using AWS, you get the OTP in logs. And additionally, if you have SMTP configured, the confirmation code can be optionally sent via email for enhanced user experience. Now let's try adding food through food store API. So as you can see, we have submitted the data through the API to the backend. So now let's explore the resource browser that will allow us to query the data saved on the DynamoDB. So I'll just go to the resource browser and click DynamoDB. So as you can see, the two tables have been already created here. So I will go to the table food store foods and explore the items over here. Awesome. So I can see the payload with the item ID 12345, which is stored in the DynamoDB. So now let's go through the architecture diagram of the sample application deployed. The user authenticates with the Cognito user pool and receives a custom scope JWT to be used in any request to the API gateway. Now users send requests to the pet store or food store API endpoint along with the JWT from the authentication step. The API gateway uses the cloud map to do the service discovery and figures out the ECA service to route to based on the endpoint requested. Now there are two ECA services, one for the pet and food. Now both of these have service auto scaling to account for any increased load. Now each of these ECA service have their own database table in the DynamoDB. As you can see in the diagram, now these service constitutes to the whole application. So now let's get started. You can find this project on GitHub under local stack workshop repository. Now let's see what are the different prerequisites which we need to take care of before we get started. Now, first you need local stack to use all the local stack feature. We will sign up for a local stack account and get the oath token from the dashboard. So let's go to app.localstack.cloud. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. You can sign up from here. To get started, you can visit getting started page. You can install the local stack CLI and then you need to configure your personal auth token. So local stack uses a personal auth token to access your local stack license and to authenticate you within a workspace. So the other requirements for this project are AWS local, which is basically a thin wrapper over the standard AWS CLI, which enables you to run AWS CLI commands within the local stack environment without specifying the endpoint URL parameter or a profile. So you can find more about it over the documentation. Then the next requirement is TF local. So TF local is a small wrapper script to run Terraform against local stack. And then finally, you need node.js uh, to run this project. So now let's get started. Let's move to the terminal. 
So as you can see the command on my terminal, I'm going to start local stack with the appropriate configuration to enable the S3 website to send requests to the container APIs. The disable custom cores API gateway configuration variable disable the cores override by API gateway and the extra cores allowed origin configuration variable allows our website to send requests to the container API. We also specified debug equal to one to get printed local stack logs directly in the terminal. As you might have seen in the starting, it helps uh, when we need to get the Cognito confirmation code. But if you want to uh, start local stack in detached mode, you can add hyphen D flag to the local stack start command. So let's get started. Cool, so our local stack container is now running. So now let's get down to creating resources for our project. The first thing I would like to create is DynamoDB. So now we are going to create an AWS DynamoDB table named Pet Store Pets. Cool, so as you can see the command, um, using it uses pay per request billing mode. The table's primary key consists of single attribute named pet ID of type string, serving as a unique identifier for items stored in the table. So now it has been created. Now let's see our web app. So now I will go to resource browser and DynamoDB and I can see that pet store pets table has been created. Now let's create another resource. Now let's also create a DynamoDB table for food service with the food ID as tables primary key. Now let's again go to the web app and let's see if we have the table in our DynamoDB. Awesome. So I can see food store foods over here. Congratulations. Now we have seen how you can deploy resources on local stack and also glimpse of final deployed application. In the next video, we will learn about infrastructure as code tools and containerized application. This saves us a lot of time. Make sure that it's less error prone and reproducible.